guys! Welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host Ashley and since it is currently the end of August, it seems like a very good time to discuss September call-ups. So I want to start with a caveat. If you are watching this video after 2019, please look for an updated version of it because things are going to change after this season. If you are watching it now upon release or anytime in 2019, the information here is still correct. So please use this going into September 2019 but not afterwards. So September call-ups refer to what happens in baseball after September 1st. Now, as we know, and I will link up above, in a regular baseball season, teams are allowed to have a 25-man regular roster. They also have the 40-man extended roster, but anybody not on the 25-man roster is ineligible to play in regular season games. After September 1st, however, those rosters get extended and anywhere up to 40 players are allowed to play in regular season games. So if you're a little bit confused by that, don't worry. Basically, before September 1st, only those on the 25-man roster are allowed to play in MLB games. They can, you know, use waivers or DFAs or options to move players on and off that 25-man roster, but only those on the 25-man roster can participate in games. After September 1st, teams are allowed to add any of the other players on their 40-man roster to the 25-man roster if that makes sense. So basically they can have up to 40 players in regular season games now. Most teams do not actually extend their roster to 40 players. Usually they might push it up to 30 or others will only add one or two guys from the minor leagues to the regular season roster. What this is generally used for is giving really high value prospects or those that they believe are on the cusp of being ready for MLB play a chance to participate in big league games to see how they do against actual MLB level players. Players. So if you have a really high value pitching prospect, for example, team might call him up so he can try and start in a game or two in September to see how he does against major league talent batters. Or if you have a position player who the team thinks might be ready for major league play, September is a really good time to get him up there and see how he does against other clubs. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this rule is going to change after 2019. In the 2020 season, it won't be up to 40 players that can be added in September, but rather it will be capped at 28, meaning that teams can add up to three additional players to their 25-man roster after September 1st. And honestly, for most teams, that extra three players really is enough because most teams don't really have more than three players in the minors that they're really eager to get up to the major league level. Now, a couple of notes on playtime in September. Uh, you guys will remember from my options video that players kind of come and go between the minors and the majors, and they have three career options. Options are not counted in September. September. So if a player has all three of their options, having never played major league games before, they will not burn an option by being called up in September. Or likewise, if they've already burned two options kind of coming and going, it will not impact their third option if they're called up in September. What it does impact is their service time. So when you're looking at stuff like rookie limitations, numbers of at-bats or innings pitched are considered towards a player's service time. And once a certain, and this will be its own video, but once a certain level of of innings pitched or at bats have been achieved, a player has been considered to have exceeded their rookie limitations. So it actually can impact a player's rookie limitations to be called up in September, depending on how much game time they see. So this is definitely something to consider, but most teams aren't really looking to game a player's rookie clock. Um, so it really only has impact when you're looking at something like rookie of the year consideration. Now, if you wanna call up a prospect who isn't already on the 40 man roster, you will have to clear space on that 40 man roster for that player. So I'm gonna put up that video again for my DFAs video to explain how that works, but a player will likely have to be placed on waivers and then sent down to the minor leagues in order for a player who isn't already on the 40 man roster to be moved into that position and be eligible for a September call-up. So it's pretty timely considering September call-ups will take effect next week, at least at the time of this video. And I do hope that helps explain the September call-up situation a little bit better for you guys. So now when you hear about guys getting called up in September and you have questions about that, you kind of have a better sense of what that means. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Share it. Tell a friend. Put it online. Help explain September call-ups to everybody. Uh, and of course, remember to hit subscribe down below. Ring the bell if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when new episodes go live. And of course, as always, remember you can follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day. Bye!